Sister Monique took to the socials to talk about young ladies dressing, leaving to go on airplanes in the airport, or even going to the store, and their appearance as they would leave mm-hmm. their home. And she didn't like the appearance that she was seeing from a lot of young right, ladies right. wearing scarves, bonnets. Mm-hmm. Um, um, I got a clip. And PJs. So yeah, play that clip real quick. So many of our young sisters in head bonnets, scarves, slippers, pajamas, blankets wrapped around them. And this is how they're showing up to the airport. Not just at the airport, I've been seeing it at the store, at the mall. And the question that I'm having to you, my sweet babies, when did we lose pride in representing ourselves? When did we step away of let me make sure I'm presentable when I leave my home? What do we think about Mm. What do we think about that? Okay. Who want to go first? Uh, I had the conversation earlier this week. I would say two days ago about this. Yeah. And I remember whenever I used to take a plane, they used to have us dress in our Sunday best to go on a plane. I don't know if anybody else did that. Maybe it's a West Indian mm-hmm. thing. But whenever, whenever we were going on a plane, you wore your best sneakers, your best, your best on a plane? jeans. I swear to you, best shirt to go on a plane. That yeah. was just how, what they did. I don't know why, but that's what they did. In my head, I'm like, why wouldn't you want to be comfortable on a plane that you're about to sit for three, four hours? I always thought comfort on a plane. But that's what we did growing up when I was a kid. Now, I'm all for comfort. So, do I agree 100%? Is pride. What she's saying? You said what? The, 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 the key word is pride, and, and I don't think that she's off for saying what she said. Now, I do want to preface my statement by saying I feel... Like she she gets that she she plays both sides of the fence all the time. Like, I, yeah, I I can be disrespectful, but because I'm calling you babies and I'm saying this out of love and I'm, because I'm speaking to you like this, I can say some fuck shit, but it can be masked with love. Now I want to start by saying I don't feel like. I have a right to tell anybody how to fucking dress or how they feel when they leave their crib. That's that. Mm. Right? But I will also say is you should have a sense of pride when you leave your crib to not look crazy. Mm. True. Now, I feel the way she feel. All these bonnets and the this and the that, you outside of pajamas, you looking slappy. That shit is a turnoff. And to me, I look at you like, yeah, you look, you all looking crazy. I get it. But at the same time, I'm grown enough to understand that if you want to look that way, that's up to you to fucking look that way. Like, who am I to say anything about the way you look or the way you want to look? I'm wearing a do-rag right now, right? People would say that my shit ghetto. I wear this shit wherever, wherever, wherever the fuck I want to wear it. I'm outside. I want to wear it. I wear it. I'm in the store. I, I want six, six I nines it. on it. I mean, it, it is. <laughs> so who are you to tell me how to dress, look, feel, anything about the way I, the way I'm putting on whatever I want to put on? So I definitely get that. Yeah. But I understand what Monique is saying with the pride and the way that you look when you when you step out the house and what Barry just said with the West Indian culture is real. You put your best foot forward. You got to look good. You got to look your best. Don't even if you do broke. Not mis- mm. Do not misrepresent your parents. Do not misrepresent your culture. Yep. Because when I see you, I see where you come from. So don't look crazy. Yep. So I get that. <clears throat> I can agree with that because I, I think that um, bonnets are like for, it's for an inside house thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? A do rag. I, I feel that we kind of made do rags fashionable, so I'm I'm a little biased to a do rag. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's a Gucci do rag, um, or a Hoochie do rag because you know you got that shit from the Chinese on the, yeah, but yeah, um, yeah, you right. got that from yeah. Canal Street. Uh-huh. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Big so bag, it's a little different, you know. But I I feel that do rags are a little bit more. It, it's kind of like you remember stocking caps. Yes, and I Absolutely. ain't even talking about. 
once again, when they tried to make them fashionable with the FUBU no, bands and all that, I'm talking about legit. You cut a stocking. When you, you know say that shit. And you put I remember a, dudes used to do that to actually get weaves. Yeah, you cut a stocking cap on right. your head. You that's don't... Nice. That's not something the world sees. Right. Like, in the in the 80s when uh, niggas had Jerry's curls and they had a the, um, the shower Jerry's cap. Curls? When they had to activate it. They activate the shower cap. You... That's they tried to make that. that cool, but low key, you look like you was chilling, bro. Like that's right. a house thing. Yeah. So I think certain yeah, things are for the house, thing, right? They all they you all house wear, things. You're right. You can wear whatever you want to wear, like Willis said, right? But there's two. There's another side to it. You can't be mad about how people accept you now when you go outside. However, the fuck you go outside. That's true. You can't never get mad at the. Um, you know what I'm saying the reaction. So you can wear no, I, how I, I, you can wear whatever you. I think you can get mad. I think you can, That's bro. The, if I the, see you, what is it to you? If I see you and you don't look presentable to me, I can well, then think to that you about you. And fuck you. Like, but what are we talking about here? What is presentable? So whatever I'm wearing needs to be presentable to you for you not to feel away. I put this on. No, but of course you put. But you you fighting two arguments. You fighting two different arguments. You can't fight two arguments at the same yeah, time. Yeah, bro, you have no, your no, own way right, of thinking. Right, right. I get that. You're and right. if that's what you want to do, fine. But yeah. guess what? I have my own you're way right. of thinking as well. What it, what you're trying to tell me now is you wear this and I mustn't have any thought process about what you're wearing. No, if that's I facts. see you that's and at any and point in time, crazy. I, I could have possibly liked something. you. I could have possibly thought you were cute. But you're wearing a bonnet. Now... That's not appealing to me. So guess what? I'm turned off by you. So I must like and you in a bonnet you, when I first you, meet you. I don't you have, have to like you right in a bonnet think on. That way. You have all right to think that way. And this is my point. So, and I think mm. that's what Moon, I think she said it wrong, but that's what I think she was trying to allude to. Young ladies, I don't at the think end she of the day, you guys are out I here trying to... I don't think she said anything wrong, but I think people are taking it in the wrong way. Like, She's shaming women for 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 looking a certain way, and it's like, no, sis, y'all yeah. are beautiful. Men, stop going outside, and making people see you in your form that's not meant for everybody to see. That's yeah. meant for your man. That's meant for your family. Niggas don't need that's to see you it. in your bonnet outside. Like 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 the only thing um that's in comparison to guys is is when you have the ghetto do rag on, the wife beater on. The the basketball shorts with with the holes and in you them. with the like the shitty basketball shorts yeah, and then you, you got like the, the then you got like the the, the 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 sock song with the flip flops with the slippers the basketball with the slippers. basketball slippers which is which is fine but it's a house look you know what I'm saying like bro, that's how niggas walk around bro, the house we, oh, we dang, all got dang, we all I'm got not, some shorts that got you. holes in them I'm not you said gonna what? hold you you. You just described exactly what I'm wearing now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing the, the basketball shorts with the socks and the But that's also flops. in the house. But you in the, the crib, gray. bro. Do you that's the Do you thing. travel like you, that? You you no. just shamed me, bro. You just shamed me. But well, you, but, but, you're not, but, but, but because what no, walking, wait, hold on. Because like because I'm ashamed of you. No. <laughs> But would you wear that out, like public wise, like like taking a trip? You know what I'm saying, going somewhere. Now, You're not okay, gonna so, wear so your what, holy I, shorts. I will. I will that, say that got this. holes in them this. outside. But we also that's unfair to equate that to a, a woman wearing a bonnet. That's unfair. But now that's how saying, we can see it. That's no, the only comparison, bar, bar, though. No, no, no it's you not. cannot hit, tell hit, me hit how me to can take can take can something in. Can I go? Can I go? Can I go? What Bari just said was your holy shorts, your holy socks. You're mm -hmm. talking about the worst of the worst. A bonnet well, yeah, yeah. doesn't have to be holy. It doesn't have to be nasty. It's just a bonnet that they put on. They wear full there. clothes. But it could be a nice a bonnet. bonnet. On. True, but but, <laughs> and, and you, you, but, 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 but Bari, you making it seem like it's dirty, dingy. It's, it's the nastiest of the nasty. It's it's your your laundry day, and you put this socks on that got holes in it, or the drawers with the socks right. with holes in it. That's not the same, bro. You could be I, fully dressed in a Louis Vuitton suit, head mm -hmm. to toe. Your fucking fit is five racks, but you got a bonnet on. That's right. not the same as what you're talking about, Barry. So don't do that. That's, that's but unfair. You, but what I'm saying is some people, could, some men or some women, whomever it may be, 
can perceive you wearing a bonnet as something that's very, very, very dirty, like or very how what, however they perceive it. I'm I won't say I won't say I won't I'm say dirty, dirty, but it can I can't be say taken dirty, as bro. I mean, dirty is, is nuts to me. I'm, you're, I won't you're, say you're, dirty. Your word, I don't want to say the, your the word, word dirty is wrong. I'm saying it can your be perceived as unattractive. I won't say dirty, but I will say that there are to me certain things that are in the home. Yes. Some- Man, I just want to thank you so much for tuning into Willow Wednesdays. We love and appreciate facts, the support. Facts, facts. Yeah, yeah. If you ain't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button for the YouTube page. Big facts. Yes, yes, yes. And click the bell for notifications mm-hmm. and make sure to join that family page, the Willow Wednesday family page on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Peace. Bow. <laughs>